Hey there, so if you're looking to create consistent characters on Leonardo AI, this video is made for you. Today we're going to be exploring the image prompt tool. It is the new and improved version compared to the uh, image as pose or pose to image as you've seen in my previous video. Uh, this is a really easy tool to use. It's essentially the same thing. Um, the goal is you can use a source. Uh, reference image and you can really curate different pictures of the same characters. Now I don't really pay attention to the color of the eyes or the color of the clothing because that can easily easily be changed within their um, other tool in terms of like the in painting that they have but um, in terms of the example that you see here to the left was my original image and to the right is a different close-up shot even though it is the same pose it is a different type of image and it's still the same pretty much the same character really close to the original character so um, i'm really happy with that and this video we're going to be exploring how to get this um let me go ahead and walk you through the uh, process here so you can see i started with the most basic prompt that was anime girl in a forest <laughs> very very uh, simple right you can see her just in a forest and then I went with this will be my source image now if you know what your source image will be great we can start from there if you don't then I suggest you take time to find one character that you do like it could be of a real life image it can be of a um, AI generated image it could be from mid journey from other um, sources of AI generators as well so keep in mind you can always mix it up and you're not limited to just what one place has or not limited to what everybody has here. But um, for this example, I did the Dream Shaper fine-tuned model in Leonardo style. Um, we're going to keep using the same one so it can be consistent. And this time around, I'm actually going to be creating the image using this as a source. So the one with sort of like that um, hat or beanie kind of poking through or maybe a headband I <laughs> can't really tell um, but once I download that I'm just going ahead and drag and drop that into the image prompt there are two places one is image to image and one is image prompt the image prompt is essentially the one that lets you reference the image a little bit more and then you can see something here called the image weight um, the higher the value on this bar the more the image would be referenced um, and the same thing with the prompt the higher the value the more of the prompt it will take so we're actually going to start with, with normal it's going to be image weight it's going to be all the way uh, prompt magic is going to be a little bit uh, lower there so we're going to have her as you see down there and we're going to see what we can do I'm going to turn off the native prompt that I did and we're just going to keep this very simple. So if you remember the first image, she's actually in a forest. So we're going to change it up. So portrait, uh, we're going to change it to anime girl um, in her room and then we're going to hit on generate. Uh, currently I do have the free account so it's I'm just going to generate two images for now just to save some of my tokens but um, you can generate from one to eight image at a time and it generally takes from five to 15 or 20 seconds depending on how busy it is on here or what you're generating um, yeah so if you were compared to the original image where she had the bandana this is pretty close let me see if I can open it um, She's still having the same hair. She has a clear backpack now. Her skirt's a little bit different, but that's okay. Um, her socks are there and this one doesn't, but it is the same similar character, which I am really happy about. Um, the key to using this tool, I believe, is the ability to take your time and play with the image weight and the prom strength. So that is a mix of it. So knowing what you want, so let's say you like her in the forest, that's okay. You want her in the school, that's okay. Um, or in her room. She's not really in her room, um, but, that's, a, but that's, that's because I'm not really putting a lot of magic in my prompt or a lot of strength here. So that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna move this down, toggle it. So then the reference is only gonna be like about 60% or so. And then the, the prompt strength is a little bit higher this time around. And then you're gonna see or expect to see something a little bit closer to this. Um, it doesn't always come out the same way, but um, it is really down to trial and error. So let's see what this can give us right here. Oh, 
All right, so she's not inside her room. She's still in a forest, but that's okay. They change her headband, but she looks like she is geared up and ready to go. It's still the same element. Um, so really, it is depending on the image weight. So we're going to have to change the prompt a little bit here. So we're just going to do um, in just maybe portrait, anime girl, um, and what you want it to be. So uh, just standing inside her bedroom. And then we're going to turn the prompt all the way up. And then the weight of the image is a little bit lower. Uh, just so we can see if we can get something different rather than the forest that you saw from the beginning. So that is um, unfortunate that that keeps popping up, but it is a little bit of a trial and error until you get the desired outcome that you like. So um, as you can see here, this one is way better, right? So you get your um, girl. She has the bandana still, a little bow. She's not wearing her backpack anymore on, on this one, but she is... Um, closer to what we want. She's inside her room, her hair is still long, and it is still the same character. Now, if you want to change the pose a little bit, that would have to be within your prompt. So she's just standing. Um, you can say she is sitting inside her bedroom, perhaps, and see if you can get something different. Um, that is just the way um, it just has to be for now. So sitting um, at desk inside her bedroom, portrait anime girl and then click on generate um as you can see here there's just a little bit of fine tuning i <laughs> just play on leonardo's model there but if you just change the prompt a little bit you change the um the image weight and then the prompt magic you'll be able to get your consistent characters in different scenes and that's really fun to do um for these this one is okay she's actually in her room this one is somewhat leaning so that's okay she's not really sitting there she's just standing um but that that works and if you don't like her hair again we can always go and um edit this inside the um other tools so that is something that we can always do an easy fix um, if you do want to do a closer portrait um, one of the prompts that would be is to do a close-up portrait of anime girl anime girl and then we're just gonna keep it really plain so um wearing bandana and that should be good enough so you just want a close-up um and then turn on the negative prompt and then just put duplicate out of frame cropped um, bad proportions blurry and then um just do legs <laughs> see if that can get rid of all the legs that she's showing All right, so as you can see, we were able to crop exactly what we need. It is still the same character, pretty much. She is still very much her. I'm gonna see if I can grab the original here, right? She has the eyes, the, um, the color of her jacket, the way her shirt is, all the coloring we can always change later, but um, we're still able to get the same, pretty much the same character here. So uh, the image, prompt tool is definitely something that I could re recommend using as, in terms of getting your consistent character. As long as you have someone to start with, you can play with the image weight. Um, that's just, hey, I want more similar to this image or hey, I want more similar to my prompt. And if you mix it enough, you're going to get a good uh, result um, there. And um, I'm also going to mention that you can always change the, uh, the model, the fine tune model. Um, there's different models available. There's custom models as well. There's, uh, this is my model, but there's a lot of community models that's available. Um, and if you find one that is similar to the character that you want, that's a great start. So I highly, highly recommend you checking out the community and platform models that are existing. This will get you close to what you want at the start and you can get there. So, um, I kind of cheated my way there because I had the Dream Shaper version 5 as my original input or, or my original creation. As you can see, let me go ahead and scroll. 
back down so i i started it with here this is the girl in the forest and then this was the two that i tried so uh, first starting with her testing this theory out and it did work out well so we just did a live test with the bandana and then as you can see i was able to get different iterations of the same girl in different poses and different shapes and if you really think about it i can always save these images and keep doing that um, ai image generation um, upload in terms of the uh, image problem so if i do have an image or a new one that i do like i can use her as source and if i don't like what she's wearing i can easily edit that out as well so um let me know if you have any questions i'm super excited to be able to get back and upload more videos about um, the apps and tools available in this community. Thank you.